Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So this is the acrylic pour tree ring that I did on a vinyl record. And for anyone that didn't see that video, I'll post the link for it down in the description. But what I thought I would do is I thought it would look beautiful if I resined this. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this one with resin. And I am using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. And I've already mixed part A and part B together. And then we're gonna just go ahead and seal this painting. So basically, it's pretty simple. We're gonna just pour this on here. I did take the tape off of the hole in the middle, so I'm gonna kind of avoid that. And I just wanna want you guys to see how the color just totally pops. And just as a side note, for anyone that lives in a colder environment, you definitely want to do resin um, in a warmer environment if possible. I actually preheated this resin with my heater to make it more, um, it makes it more liquidy and makes it easier to move around. We're going to just basically ensure that we cover the whole thing. I don't want to go too much over the edges here, so I'm going to just kind of try to gently bring it right to the edge there. And you can of course tape off the back and whatnot if you so desire. But really that is all there is to it. And I'm going to just quickly take my torch and uh, get out any air bubbles. Now this is a vinyl record, so I don't want to over torch it or anything because it can actually warp the record. So we're gonna just do just a little bit. There's not a lot of air bubbles, but we want to make sure that there's none. Just to warn you, this torch can be a little loud. And that is literally it. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a close up here. So this resin adds a very glossy, beautiful protective finish. It helps make the colors totally pop. And um, we'll also just make it more durable. The resin is uh, UV protected, it's heat resistant, all this fun stuff. So this could now be made into a clock or it can just be a wall art piece. You know, it can kind of do a lot of things here. So there you guys go. It's really that simple. It takes about 24 hours to dry, usually a little bit less, but it depends on the temperature of the room. And uh, then it is, it's ready to go. I hope everyone has an amazing, amazing Valentine's Day. And I will see you next time.